Couldn't ask for a better night for baseball than the one we've got here in Miami as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, game one of this three-game series is set to get underway as it'll be the Kansas City Royals taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me are colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave, we turn to you first. What should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, speed thrills, it always has. And that's why you got to be aware of a guy like Scott Pesedny. There's no question about the fact that his game is predicated on the stolen base. So look for him to create some havoc if he gets on. All right, Dave, and we'll hear momentarily from Rex. But first, New Era Cap brings us the starting lineup for the visiting Kansas City Royals. Joey Gathright is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Batting second and playing second is Mark Rudzelonik. Jose Guillen follows him out in right. Shin, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Rocco Baldelli will bat fifth and play left field. Billy Butler will be at first base and hit sixth. After that, the former Rookie of the Year, Angel Barroa, out at short. In the eighth spot is the catcher, Miguel Olivo. And batting ninth and doing the pitching is Zach Grinke. They'll be opposed by the young left-hander, Scott Olson. There aren't too many out there that have 68 big league starts under their belt before their 24th birthday, but Olson is one of them. And even though the numbers weren't all that extraordinary last year, these guys think he has the makeup to be a big winner at this level. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Into the boxes, leadoff man Joey Gathright, and we are ready for baseball. Pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Ooh, and that one pretty much just burns off the outside edge. Grounded foul off to the right side. That ball's foul. And this one's inside and high. One and two now. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. And the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. Swing and a high fly ball crossing into foul territory now. And no one will get this one. Swing and the ball lifted into straightaway center. Maven is right there, one down. So one gone now for Mark Rosalonic. This is taken outside for ball one. And a foul ball straight back. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Changeup pulled the strike, and he comes back even at two and two. The two-two coming. And they'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. And this is lined hard to deep left. But Sednik is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Jose Guillen will take his first cuts of the ball game here.
Now the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Line hard to the left side. But a foul ball, one and one. Just starting things out here in South Florida. Fastball called strike, one and two. Toughest location for a hitter right there. I'd take that too. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the new look Marlins reads like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Scott Pudsednik bats second in left field. Jorge Cantu bats third and he'll be at third base. Josh Willingham will bat next. Really struggling against right-handed pitching. Something to be aware of. Dan Ugla bats fifth, he'll play second. Cameron Mabin is the number six hitter, he's in center. Matt Trainer is behind the plate, he'll hit seventh. Alfredo Omezaga hits eighth, he'll be in right field. Scott Olson is the pitcher in this one, and he bats number nine. And they'll be opposed by the young phenom of sorts, right-hander Zach Grinke. Fastball, curveball, changeup, good command of the strike zone for a young pitcher. He'll bear watching over the next few years. A look there at the Royals behind him defensively as they're led by a former gold glover Mark Grudzelanek at second base. Into the box here is the shortstop Hanley Ramirez as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. Fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 and 0. Swung on and missed 1 and 1. Comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. He'll try again, one, two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. And there's out number one. So one gone in the inning, and that brings up Scott Pesednik. at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Yeah, trying to run that thing in on the hands. Good eye. Well, should be 2-0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. One one on the way. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Out 
out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Now a ball lined back over second. And here's a base hit as this ball's in front of Gathright. Jorge Cantu will stand in. Put Sednik not going, the pitch, and he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Outside for a ball, one and one. If Pesednik will run on any count, so you better keep him close over there. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. Runner at first here, one man out. One and one pitch home to Cantu. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And it won't be in time. It's a stolen base for Pesednik. Pickoff play at second, and he just does get his hand back in time. Hit hard to the right, but this will land in foul territory. Still one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Boy, that's a beauty of a pitch. Check out where this thing is. He'd like to stay down there all night if he can. Josh Willingham will take his cuts now. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Come set, now the pitch. And this will be swung on and missed as Willingham falls behind now, nothing in two. Matt, that's what you call a good yacker. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Bam. Two out here and a runner at second. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And even when you're protecting with two strikes, that's a fairly easy location to lay off. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Line to left, and a base hit as Baldelli gets to this one. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, the tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Second inning coming up here in South Florida with no score. Shin leads things off now in the top half of the second. Pretty good ride out to left field. Backing up on it is Pudsednik, but this ball is gone. A solo shot here to left, and the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Yeah. 
And here's the first pitch. Here's one hit towards the hole. Well on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Billy Butler will be the batter. Here's the first offering. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. So a runner on first with one out now. And here's the former rookie of the year, Angel Barroa. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Waits, now the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Ah! And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Miguel Olivo will step in working on a nice five-game hitting streak. things here with a changeup for a cold strike. And now when you plant that seed on the first pitch, you can really go anywhere from here. And he lays off for ball one. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And that's what you got to do when that thing's dipping like that. You got to hold it back. Ready with the 2 1. Swing and a hot shot down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Ready with another 2-2. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Yeah, almost into the inning right there. Swinging a ground ball to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That will do it for this half of the inning. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the second. The Royals lead it one to nothing. Dan Ugla will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. And a swing and a miss as Ugla falls behind here quickly 0-2. And, and after he established fastball in, he went right back to it on the outer half. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Elbow. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Sometimes when you foul a few two-strike pitches off, you have a tendency to start swinging at anything. That's a good eye. 
Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Well, he's determined to get him to chase that slider sooner or later. Here's the pitch. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats, and he's just fighting to stay alive here, still two and two. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, look at Grudzelani. And the throw will get him at first as he is robbed on a magnificent play there. Well, not only is this a great play just to get to the ball, but then to throw a strike to first for the out. That is pretty. So one away now, and here's Cameron Mabin. In there, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. And Maven comes up empty on that one, and it's 0 and 2 now. Misses there, one and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Boy, and these will eat at you as a pitcher. That's a perfect two-strike pitch. He got him to chase, but he's aboard anyway. Matt Trainer will get his first opportunity now. Ball one. Runners on first with one down. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. That ball's foul. Here's the one one. And he misses two and one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. Slider that time as it's hit on the ground, but foul. Line hard into left. And that's in there. Base hit. Alfredo Omeziga will stand in now. Switch hitter batting from the left side here. He throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. And, now a look and a throw back to second. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. And this is off the glove of Olivo as it gets away from him. So now two men in scoring position. And 
And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Second and third here, one man out. They'll try again, one, two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, even though it's just the second inning, you don't want to start leaving runners in scoring position. Now it's going to take a two-out knock to do any damage in this inning. Scott Olson, the big in now with a possible tying and go-ahead runs in scoring position here. straight back. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and a good chance to really help himself out here early on. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. Royals out in front, one to nothing. Zach Greinke is ready to go here as we begin the third. Gets under it a bit as this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Right there is Podsednik, one away. Always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher as he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. One away in the inning now for the speedy Joey Gathright. First pitch coming. Runs up to Bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses strike two. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Lays off, two and two now. Ah, and this might all be done to set up that changeup again. Let's see if he comes back with it. Slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Swing hard liner to left center. Base hit. So a runner at first with one man gone, and stepping in the second baseman, Mark Retzelonic. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. ball one. I don't think my eyesight's that bad. That looked like strike two to me. Throw over to first oh, and a dive, but he's back. <laughs> now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger.
Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The throw to third. And he is safe on a close play. So two men are on with one man out. And here's the right fielder, Jose Guillen. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. A throw to the plate. Oh, a collision, and he is out at the plate as the catcher hangs on, and he really got belted that time. Taking a real chance trying to score here, and it winds up not panning out for him as the batter holds safely at first. Shin will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. And this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. Now a swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's 1-1. One one. Pretty tough duty trying to get around on that pitch. This ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Yeah, and after giving up the home run to him earlier, you can see he's trying to make adjustments out there on the mound. Hits are now even at four apiece. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even, two and two. Now the two-two pitch. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Royals are on top, one to nothing. Hanley Ramirez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And Grinky gets ahead with the fastball, nothing in one. Let a good pitch go by, but at least he gets a sense of how quick that fastball's getting on him. Now the pitch. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. It hard, but fouled toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch.
Grounded foul. Still two strikes. Another 2-2 offering. And here's a ball rolled foul. Still two strikes. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full, three and two. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And he will reach up to track this one down on the run as he's able to keep this one in his sights for the first out. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third. And here comes a speed threat in the person of Scott Pitsetnik. Low for ball one. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Ball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And a tough slider there as he grounds it foul. Here's the two and two offering. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Jorge Cantu will be next. for Grutzelanek at second. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two out. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. Now here's the first pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to Butler, takes care of him, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. KC leads this one one to nothing. Rocco Baldelli will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And you can tell he wanted to go after that one, but he wisely hangs back. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. And the changeup low is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. You just want to crush that thing. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. A diving effort there by Ramirez, but he can't quite get there. It's a base hit. Billy Butler will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Oh. 
Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. And is this due to statue up there? That's why you bring the lumber, amigo. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Ball two. And he'll think about inside outing that thing if it's over the plate a bit more. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Ball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Maben has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Angel Baroa will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. Now a ball bounced foul over near Luis Silverio in the third base coaching box. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a high pop-up to the left side. Ramirez camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Miguel Olivo will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. And, and now if you can get this guy here, you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Certainly no offer at that one. It's one and two. And now let's see if they take some speed off with this next pitch. Inside for a ball. So he misses with two straight here, and it's back to two and two. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full the runner at first has got to make sure he's going to the plate before he breaks and this will find the seats behind the first base dugout and here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right but he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Royals lead it one to nothing. Josh Willingham will dig in. He singled his first time around.
called a strike on the outer half. 0-1-1. Willingham watches that one miss, a ball and a strike. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. And this is fouled straight back. Here he comes again, 1-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Doesn't matter how hard you throw it, a well-placed heater's still the best pitch in baseball. And look where this thing is, right on the inside corner. That's a tough pitch. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. So two men are gone here on the floor to fourth, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Mabin. And that misses for ball one. Yeah, when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. And that definitely is a tempting pitch to go after. Good instincts to lay off. 2-0 -oh count, the pitch. And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. Showing real good patience there at the plate. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Ball in there, three and two. Next pitch will be an even 80 so far for Grinky. And a fastball misses there, ball four. I just don't know why they're letting him go on out there. I mean, the manager sees the same things we do, he's just running on fumes out there. Matt Trainer will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Now the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Fastball here that's taken for ball two. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Here's a ground ball to first. And a step on first for the out. This side is retired. So it's no run, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We played four full. Royals out in front, one to nothing. 
Zach Greinke to dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's taken for strike one. And these AL pitchers certainly don't get that much time in the batting cage. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high 1-2. and two. Oh, and how disciplined do you have to be to lay off that pitch on 0-2? and two? Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. A diving effort there by Ramirez, but he can't quite get there. It's a base hit. Back to the top of the order now, and stepping in the speedy center fielder, Joey Gathright. He's ready now, the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Matt, he's digging a hole for himself now by not offering it those. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And a barehanded pickup. And a waste pitch there, one and two. And now that he's established speed away, let's see what he turns to here. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Mark Rutzelanek will step in, a base hit in his last time. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. And against a guy like this, you get that first pitch fastball, you better be hacking. And he misses with it one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. So two are gone now in the Royal fifth. And here's the powerful Jose Guillen. First pitch coming. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Royals are on top, one to nothing. Alfredo Omeziga will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Now the 1-0 pitch. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back.
Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Scott Olson will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. In time to first and there are two away. And he's able to retire his opposite number there, as these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. So it's back to the top of the order now, and at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to Butler is in time, and the inning is over. Good work there by Zach Greinke, still working on a 1-0 lead. And as we get set to begin the sixth inning, let's quickly bring you a look at our upper deck in-game box score for the Royals through the first five. Shin will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. Center. Base hit. The relay. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Jumps on a first pitch fastball that time. This was up in the zone as you check it out on swing track, and that's a location mistake you just can't afford to make. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And here comes young Rocco Baldelli. <laughs> and he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Looks like he's having trouble reaching that fastball away. I'd go right back there, maybe even a little further out. From the stretch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Here's the ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first. Willingham is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring in the right-handed hitting Billy Butler. First pitch to him. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Grounded softly to the left side. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. 
Well, these guys have outhit their opponents eight to four in the ball game, and that's a pretty good indication of why they hold the lead here. Angel Barroa will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And I got to say, I've been surprised at their inability to cash in so far. They need a big hit here. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Now the one two to Baroa. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Miguel Olivo will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And this is the guy you want right here because you'd love to have that pitcher spot at the plate to start the seventh. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And he's still looking for a base hit here to keep that modest five-game hitting streak alive. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two from the belt the pitch now he drops a change up on him strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side so it's no runs on two hits no errors and two men left stranded two three and four do up in the home half of the sixth the Royals lead it one to nothing. Low scoring game as we get another look at the in-game box score. And much like the previous one we saw, really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far. Scott Pitsednik will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. And even though you're not getting much run support to speak of, you really need to just focus on doing your job on the mound. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner. Around first, digging for two now. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Not the way you want to start an inning on the mound as he serves up a leadoff double right there. Jorge Cantu will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time, and Fitzsednik swipes his second bag of the day. Taking a chance here. Not a bad-sized lead, and he makes the gamble pay off by taking third. And this is hit hard to the right side. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. He's set, now the pitch lays off that time and it's one and two and at this stage of the ball game they'll be happy to trade a run for an out here and he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away
Now a slider that swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Ball Deli has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Just didn't get enough of that one to get that run home. So that's probably a wise decision to hold it third. Josh Willingham will dig in one for two thus far. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. Foul back. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. That's a foul ball. Pause, now the pitch. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And it's a base hit as they finally break through here to tie the ball game at one. Dan Ugla will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Ball close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1 0. He's working on a seven game hitting streak at the plate, but he's hitless thus far. That's by him for strike one. Half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked about a foot inside. Instead, it's out number two. Well, good look at this on pitch track. Boy, man, I don't know. You could almost park the city bus in the guy's strike zone tonight. Cameron Maben will stand in, base on balls his last time. And the fastball's in there for strike one. And when you're spotting fastballs there, you are tough to hit. This is one and one. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. And he'll throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. Two-two pitch on the way. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full, all tied at one and one. And a new pitcher making his way toward the mound. It's the hard-throwing right-hander, Matt Lindstrom.
Esteban Herman is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And his first pitch of the game, 98 miles an hour. Wow, that's fast. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Uh, what are you waiting for, amigo? The pitch. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Foul ball. And this is sliced foul into the stands and right out of play. Freezer! Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He'll try a different arm slot here to see if he can get him to chase. Slice down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he okay. missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. And a good pitcher can't be afraid to run that fastball up and in like that. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Joey Gathright will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's one and oh. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And clearly trying to keep the ball low here. That's ball two. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Sinking line drive to right field. And this ball's going to fall out there. A base hit. The relay throw. And he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. There's hit number nine for him in the ball game, But despite that, they still only have one in the run column. They just haven't been able to string anything together so far. Mark Rutzelanek will get another crack. One for three thus far. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. A bare hand for one. On the first to complete the double play. Jose Guillen will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And that swung on and missed for strike one. One and one. 
And the further down you start that thing, the least effective it's going to be. One and one now to Guillen. And they bunch him up inside as this is pushed foul off to the right. And it's one and two now. Struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. KC leads this one 2-1. to one. Wong Ju will come in and pitch now. Matt Trainer to step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And I've been under his breath, he's saying, that's the first time all night you've called that a strike. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. And he will reach down to pluck this one off his shoe tops. A fine play there for the first out. Alfredo Omeziga will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1-0. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Runs up to Bunn here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a hot shot toward third. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Jeremy Hermida will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. He lost his release point on that fastball. It's 1-0. Just got to find some way to get on base here. The 1-0 pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. A 
Another 2-2 offering. Oh, and he gets a lot of this one, but he hooked it a bit too much as this will wind up a long foul ball to right field. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. But that'll be off the teal monster out there in left. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Hanley Ramirez will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Now the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh and, and you wonder, sooner or later, when is the big hit going to come? Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. And this guy's hitless so far, but now would be a pretty good time to get that first. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats and he's just fighting to stay alive here still two and two now a swing and an easy ground ball to first a flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side so no runs here on a base hit no errors and one man left aboard we'll look ahead to inning number eight now the Royals are on top two to one Pitching change coming up as Aki is going to make his way in out of the bullpen. Shin will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Wing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And there's ball one. Now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. He was summoned out of the bullpen fairly quickly here. It looks to me like he may not be fully warmed up yet. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Rocco Baldelli will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And the liner 
foul into the seats down the right side. And he lays off for ball one. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Boy, that thing's really moving sharply at the end. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Billy Butler will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Ball one. And this winds up inside for a ball. Two and oh now. And the pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Two one pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. Now here's a swing and a bouncing ball for Ugla at second base. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Royals lead it two to one. Shinwei Sao is on and he'll take over on the mound. Sednik will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Ball one. And this will be fouled away. Swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And this is taken in for out number one. Well, he just couldn't get his hands on top of this one. This thing's up in the zone, and he just swings underneath it and lifts an easy pop-up. Jorge Cantu will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. And a foul ball straight back. And 
And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. And that's a location mistake right there. He might not get away with that twice. Now a ball lying towards center field. In there, a base hit. Eight hits in the ball game for him, but they've had just one run to show for it. That has been what you call scattering eight hits. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Josh Willingham will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And when you're down two to one late in the ball game, you need to make every at bat count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Baroa. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Dan Ugla to try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Cameron Maven will step in, one for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and low here, goal one. And the rally caps are out in force now. Gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. Two and two. And this could wind up being the key pitch of the ball game right here. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played eight full. Royals out in front, two to one. Cortez is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number three. Angel Barroa will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. The next pitch. Now it's 2-0. and oh. Yeah, and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. Now a softly hit liner towards second. And a dive, but it's off his glove, and that should go as a base hit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Miguel Olivo will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Now a swing and a high 
fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Ameziga has to back up a bit, but he has it shy of the wall for the first out. Trying for a little insurance right there and just didn't quite get it all. Mark Tian will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Pretty easy to lay off it when it's down that low. Here's the 1-0. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Ramirez. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Yeah, this might be the hardest double play to turn. The shortstop's got to wait for that pitcher to get over to the bag. And that was too much to ask for, so the inning continues. Joey Gathright will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. Two out with the man at first. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Come set, now the pitch. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Lined into left center. Base hit. Mark Rutzelanek will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. He waits. Now the pitch. Fouled straight back. Foul! Swing. High drive. Left field and deep. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that will play one for sure and maybe a second. And the runner will score from second. But it's way late and he's in there. Jose Guillen will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ballgame. slider to get ahead here. No balls and a strike. Boy, this umpire is expanding the strike zone in every conceivable direction. And he misses with it. One and one. Oh, 
one one pitch is a splitter called strike two. Oh boy time to choke up to the label anything to avoid another punch out. Fouled straight back. Runners at second and third with two gone. Outside, two balls and two strikes the count now. There's a big swing that gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors and two men left on. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Royals are on top, three to one. A ninth inning save situation is at hand, so on to shut the door, the closer, Joaquin Soria. Matt Trainer will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. And that misses one and one. Sign from Olivo, now the one one. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Alfredo Omezaga will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Good fastball there from Soria. It's 0-1. On the corner like he wanted, but I think that pitch needs to come down a bit more or it'll get hit. And a slow curveball in there for strike two. At least take the bat off your shoulder, meat. And he fights this one off to stay alive. Another 0-2 coming. Good waste pitch, 1-2. and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Cody Ross will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch coming. And this is low, ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And this guy's looking to hit double digits and saves if he can close this one out. one runs a little too far in ball two and all you want to think about doing here is extending the inning and extending the game and this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight that would have been a good one to offer at there
Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. And that was just about ball game there. He barely stopped his swing in time. Full count offering on its way. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. This ball club showed me a lot tonight. They really put their nose to the grindstone and came away with a hard-fought victory on the road. So the Royals are winners in this one, and Dave, it's time for our New Era Cap heads-up play of the game. Yeah, here you go. It was a tie ball game, but not any longer. This was the key home run that gave them a one-run cushion, and they'd never look back from there. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did its job and got him the victory. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Royals come out on top 3-1. to one. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.